50 years ago. My husband's favorite aunt gave us this sugar bowl for a wedding gift. She put a little note in it and said that it was a piece of family silver. And she said she has not been able to decipher the coat of arms. And she said, some people think that the top is not original to the bowl. But you did find out a little bit, you think? Yes. I went to the public library and went to the genealogy section. I found that the female side is the Avery family. Okay. And the one on the left, I could not decipher. Well, the interesting thing about that is that you might be able to actually track it back to the family for which it was made, and it could or could not have some relation to your husband's family's ancestry. But the most interesting thing about this piece of silver is that it is a piece of American colonial silver pre-1800, that's the Revolutionary War era, and excitingly, it's by the most preeminent silversmith of that time. If we turn it over, we'll see very clearly that it is marked Revere, which is, of course, Paul Revere, the famous poem, The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere, uh, which we all learned in grade school, and it was from his silversmith shop. And this is really Paul. The mark is correct for Paul Revere, but Good. also the shape. This type of shape is documented. This is called a pear-shaped sugar bowl. And as you mm. mentioned, the top is a later replacement. It it's is. It's the correct shape top for the, this piece, but the original top, and there was one nearly identical which sold two years ago in 2010 that did have the correct top. I found a picture of it online. Oh, really? And the correct top was this, this shape. The finial was the same finial, but significantly smaller. But it was, it's unornamented. It's just completely plain, which it would have been for that period. That wouldn't make sense, really. Do you have any idea of what it might be worth? Well, a number of years ago, the art museum had an appraisal fair, and they looked at it, and they said, well, if the top is original, it's probably worth twelve to $15,000. Well, the good news is, is that silver of the colonial period is highly sought after, and while the top being a replacement does affect the value tremendously, it's still quite a valuable piece of silver. I would place an auction estimate of ten to $20,000 on it. If the top was original, if. the one that sold in 2010 brought $58,000. Oh my word. So it's a big difference with the replaced top, but it it's still a is. wonderful piece of early American colonial silver. Well, it's a family treasure.